Hello everyone and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this right here is Lily. And today we're going to talk about the beautiful Beast Lily. <laughs> okay, coming up. Whether you are coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. I am a plant beginner and I learn about my houseplants every day. So this channel is to share with you what I learned. So if you would like to be part of this community, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. But now, let's get to the video. So the peace lily is a very cool plant, you guys. First of all, NASA listed her as one of the top 10 air purifying plants on this planet. And that's a pretty cool title to have. Second, I love her flowers. This plant flowers annually and the flowers actually last for a long time. One thing that I learned while doing the research for this video, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes we see that the flowers are actually becoming green especially during the winter months of the year. This is because the plant is actually pumping some chlorophyll to the floral parts. As sunlight is not so available in the winter months, the plant will need more leaf surface to absorb the sunlight. So what does it do? It actually pumps chlorophyll to the flower so the flower can act as another leaf and absorb lots of sunlight. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. Another very beautiful part about this plant is of course the leaves. They're very long and they have this deep green tone to them. And I can tell you very often I see a new leaf coming out, which gives us so much joy. But now let's see how you can keep your plant very happy at your house. In terms of temperature, this plant comes from Colombia and Venezuela, which are very tropical areas in the world. So she likes to be in the warmer side of the spectrum. But I would recommend that you keep her in a room that is between 16 to 26 degrees Celsius. Because this plant comes from the tropics, she really likes humidity. So for now, we have her in a room with many other tropical plants. Tropical plants actually help each other with humidity levels. But if you feel that the air in your home is really dry, you can also put her on top of a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. For example, we have our plant in our bedroom. And during the winter months, we really feel that the air becomes drier. So what we do is that we actually put a humidifier in the room. This is great for our plants because they really need lots of humidity and it's also great for us because the air is more breathable and it's also really nice for the skin, especially during the winter months. So I would really recommend that. When we talk about light, this plant is very adaptable. She can be happy in a bright room, but she will also thrive in lower light conditions. In my experience, they're very happy in lower light conditions. Actually even happier than if they were in a brighter room. So for example, our bedroom has a southwest facing window, so she doesn't get so much sunlight and she seems to be thriving there. One very important thing to remember about light is that you don't want to put your plant in direct sunlight. This will burn the leaves. This also applies in a room with a south facing window or a southwest facing window, which tends to get less sunlight. So just don't put her very close to your window because this may also be really damaging to the leaves of the plant. Now, another observation that I have for you is that I feel that the peace lily will flower more easily when it gets relatively a little bit more sunlight. For example, we have this plant in our bedroom. This bedroom has a southwest facing window, so not so much sunlight. This plant is about two meters away from the window and it flowered. On the other hand, we have another peace lily and I'm going to show you right now. So it's this one right here. This one is in the same room, but this one is five meters away from the window. So she gets less sunlight than this one. She's still thriving. We have many new leaves coming out, but she doesn't have a flower. So I think a little bit more light makes it easier for her to flower. But always avoid direct sunlight because she will not be happy there. Okay, let's talk about watering. 
in terms of water this plant likes moderate watering so in order to check if my plant needs water i check with my finger i put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle and once i feel that the soil is dry then i water so remember to always let the soil dry in between waterings and the method that i use if you know me you will know of course is the bottom watering method i love this method because it really helps me get the water into the roots from below and then once i'm done i let the water drain down through the drainage holes this helps me keep the soil moist but not super wet and another thing to keep in mind with this plant is that they are very sensitive to very heavy water so if you feel that the tap water in your region has lots of chemicals or minerals maybe i would recommend to use either distilled water rain water or filter water that way your plant will not be so shocked with the chemicals in the water oh and another thing is actually that this plant will tell you when you are under watering her so if you see that the leaves are drooping that means that she needs water so just water her and you will see that she will come up again in my previous video i actually told you that it is good to fertilize this plant once a month during the growing season but since then i have learned more about fertilizers and this also depends on which fertilizer you use so for example this year we're actually using an all-purpose organic fertilizer so we're actually fertilizing our plant pretty much every time we water during the growing season which is from spring to summer we can actually fertilize our plant every time we water because organic fertilizers tend to be less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers so this allows us to fertilize her more often but of course, even if you have an organic fertilizer, I would strongly recommend that you read the instructions in your package so you make sure that you don't overfeed your plant. When we talk about potting mix, a no purpose houseplant potting mix should be perfect for this plant. I actually divided my plant into two not so long ago and I made my own potting mix for her. So my recipe for potting mix includes two parts of perlite for drainage, two parts of worm castings for nutrition, and seven parts of coconut coir for moisture retainment. And she seems to be thriving there. Propagating our peace lily is super easy. I recommend using the division method. So the division method means that we're gonna divide our plant from the top of the leaf all the way to the roots. So we will have a whole new plant instantly. I actually made a video on three methods that I use to propagate my plants and one of them is division. And I use this very plant as an example. So if you want to learn this method, make sure to check out the video so you can learn the whole method step by step. Okay, some common problems with our peace lily may include yellowing of the leaves. This usually means that you are overwatering your plant. So remember, make sure that you let the soil dry in between waterings and i strongly recommend using the bottom watering method this method will help you get the water into the roots from below and once you're done you will be able to drain down the water through the drainage holes this will help you keep the soil moist but not wet the second common problem with our peace lily is the browning and drying of the edges of our leaves this may be caused by two factors the first one is lots of direct sunlight so remember, your peace lily will thrive and be very happy in lower light conditions. So really avoid direct sunlight or putting her very close to a window because this will burn the leaves. The second factor for this may be that your plant is lacking humidity. So if you feel that the air in your house is really dry for her, try to put her on top of a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. Okay my friends, so these are some of the tips that I can give you about this beautiful plant. Do you have a peace lily at home? How do you take care of it? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Of course, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao!